It seems that Harry and Meghan have had something of a bust up, but what could be simply the cause of this latest battle now? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. Thank you so much as ever for joining me today on this smaller, sort of like milder overclass day. Apparently, though, I know you love to know this, but apparently we're going to be getting snow. Mm. You imagine snow? <laughs> I don't mind snow as long as it's before Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Gives a seasonal flavour to it. Does a bit Dickens and that sort of thing. But then after Christmas, you think, oh no, let's just roll on spring. We've done winter now. You're with me, aren't you? Yeah, you see, this is the thing. You just kind of want to move on, don't you? It's a bit like going to the supermarket and seeing all the Easter eggs and you think, how many weeks away is that? We haven't done Pancake Tuesday yet. You're doing my pancakes. You won't forget. Not too much sugar, yes. And I don't mind a bit of jam either. Oh, we'll have a, yes, thank you. We'll have a wait. <laughs> Seriously, thank you so much for joining me today. We have to be daft, don't we? Cheer ourselves up. Obviously now, you know, when you think about it, in this particular breaking royal story, it's quite sad, but let's remain positive because everybody out there who's going through a very similar thing, and this is exactly what His Majesty the King has highlighted, is the fact he's not unique, he's not special. Everybody, every single day, you know, sadly, will be told some devastating news like this. And fingers crossed, they get through it, battle through it and move on with their life but I think it is life-changing there's no two ways about it now over here as you can imagine in the United Kingdom there's a sense of hypocrisy regarding the former royal known as Prince Harry the Duke of Sussex who's now apparently going to be flying back uh, you know in the wake of all of those anxiety cameras that he has to face coming back into London no doubt he will pry privately into a private airfield that is the story that we're being told but what I do find fascinating truly is this because you see one can imagine on a more serious note that Harry himself is a, got a bit of a dichotomy really you know there he is the youngest son of the king and he has to make a decision put aside the foolishness and the complete fabrication of things that he's come up with over the last four years and actually man up and come over here and decide to do the right thing but you see when you're pushing a brand and that is what it is you know it's a brand then obviously it can cause a lot of problems now what I've been told is this from an excellent source inside the camp you see Harry now fancies relocating back over here at least for six months uh, to guide apparently his father through this terrible <laughs> obviously dilemma some might suggest of course the extra stress being added to that may have added to the situation as ever we have to say allegedly but what's fascinating to note is while he would be very keen to relocate as one can imagine Meghan Markle a former cable TV actress is less than thrilled with this particular idea of course citing things like school and nurseries and stuff like that and of course a complete dislike of the United Kingdom may add into the topping also but you see Harry is thinking possibly more with his heart rather than with his head and he has to also remember that exactly how welcoming will the likes of the Queen Queen Camilla and of course his eldest brother Prince William be but Harry never thinks anything through as we've told you many times here on the show and he truly believes that if he returns everything could be put back together and seemingly you know all the rifts could be mended albeit through a very difficult and distressing time there's just one fly in the ointment Meghan simply doesn't want to return she knows she's on incredibly unpopular there's nobody in the senior members of the British monarchy that would openly welcome her and so you know it's going to be a rather thoughtful distant life for her one that she hadn't planned particularly not at this stage at least so now as you can understand there's a crisis point in the marriage because obviously Harry wants to do something finally for himself that he believes is the right thing to do and many suspect it is but of course when there's two people in the marriage with two opposing views it's difficult to decide who's going to win for now, thankfully, and many people are believing this, that Meghan Markle is remaining back in the United States and is not planning to return to the United Kingdom for the foreseeable future. That, some people might say, may give Harry some breathing space. But whichever way, this is a developing story. And whichever way you look at it, there's now a problem within Camp Sussex. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.